This worked the last time. Cheers. Welcome to Norway, a land of majestical wonders waiting to be explored. In this video, we are going to bring you along on an unforgettable journey to this beautiful Scandinavian country. Our adventure begins in Tromso, a city in northern Norway, north of the Arctic Circle, which is going to be our home base for the next few days. It's going to help us achieve our goal of witnessing with our own eyes the northern lights. After 18 hours of flights and overall layovers, we decided to go and stop at O'Holland's, which is a pub that has over 72 beers on tap. Good place to go check out, highly recommend it. Good place to unwind, especially in the wintertime, it gets dark at 2 p.m., so 5 o'clock somewhere, 2 p.m. somewhere. So that's where we're at right now. After that, we're gonna hop on a bus, go an hour and a half, stay somewhere very special. The Tromso Ice Domes. Wow, this is insane. This is probably the coolest, most unique place I've ever stayed at in my life. Make you a vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. I, this is Thor's hammer, if I had to assume. I, <laughs> I really don't know how we're gonna sleep tonight. Details, details, details. That is insane. One thing I can see, one dilemma. One is cold. I don't know how we're gonna sleep, but <laughs> the other dilemma is there's literally. I don't know. There, there's no doors. This is actually a really cool room. It's got like the Nordic symbol. I don't think they have heaters in here, babe. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, there's Thor. Thor and Thor's hammer. Look, this one's got a fireplace. Yeah, like it's gonna keep it warm. This is not ours. He's got a double bed. Unless we are, are we that far into our marriage that we sleep in two separate beds? Yeah. Is that how we are at this point? Maybe. We, we I mean, I booked it, so no, it's not ours. Now, if you would have booked it, oh, look at this. This is like the eye from uh, from uh, Lord of the Rings. What is this? Is that Thor as well? Oh, that is badass. Look at his eyes. That is sick. That is awesome. I don't want to sleep here. Ooh, I, that's really creepy. I don't want to sleep in that room either. And I think that's a dead end. This is hands down the coolest place I think I've ever even walked into like you can stay in an overwater bungalow and it's cool it's beautiful but they're everywhere I mean ice hotels I mean they literally have to sculpt this every single year if you have the opportunity to do this I would highly 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 recommend doing it I mean we haven't slept in over 24 hours and I, I have so much energy because I'm so excited for just this whole entire experience oh look at him what's his name Grizzly? Grizzly, we got the cheese. <laughs> oh. Grizzly, nice. Yeah, uh, so we take the, the water from this river and we make it with, uh, with snowmaker. Uh, we make the snow we need to, to have to make the ice stones to build the ice. So to recap on day number one inside Odin's bedroom, this is the, the room we ended up choosing was Thor. Thor's, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry Thor, he's gonna bring the hammer down tonight. I'm kind of reconsidering because I might as, oh shit, it is cold. It was an amazing day. The first thing they did when we got here was they took us on a, a snowshoe hike. It was an hour and a half in the middle of the woods and then we started a fire out there. It was actually a really cool experience overall. It gave us a three course meal and we ate reindeer. 
Sorry, Santa. It's actually really good. And then we came out here, picked out our bedroom, and now it's about 11 p.m. We're freezing. We're going to go get our sleeping bag. <laughs> actually, it is pretty warm. I'm honest with you, there is nothing sexy about sleeping in an ice hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Riding early with some dog sledding and wow, what an epic experience that was. We got a ton of snow this morning, the most snow they've had in the last three days. So the ground was pretty soft. So if you're gonna do some dog sledding, which I highly recommend you do at least once, be prepared for a workout. The first half of it was all uphill. So I mean, for the most part, I don't, wouldn't even say we were dog sledding. I was more like pushing a dog sled. Like I was helping push while Ksenia was in the, the cart. So she got it easy. On the way back, it was all downhill, so she didn't have to work as much, as much. I said she had to work a little bit, but I would actually adopt a retired sled dog. I think that'd be really cool, yeah. just to bring it to the United States and have the story that we have a Norwegian retired sled dog, and maybe he could teach our other Huskies how to do more than dig holes and tweak toys and tear So just made it in to the Clarion on the Edge, which is a perfect location if you're going to be staying in Tromso. Now the reason why I want to show this room off is because for one, we actually have a bed that's not made of ice, so we will actually get a very good night's rest tonight. And if you look over here, I booked a little bit of a more expensive room for one main purpose and for the hopes of possibly seeing the northern lights in the middle of the night. This is a pretty good view, so like I said, if we have to get up in the middle of the night for some reason, well. Hopefully we can take a peek out the window and see the northern lights. Probably not going to happen, but it's worth a shot. So we're going to spend the rest of the evening here, go grab some food. And yeah, that's about it for the night. I actually get a full night's rest for tomorrow's adventures in Tromso. leave this place without visiting the Arctic Cathedral and also the infamous cable car, which if you look to our right side right here, you can't see a whole lot. Between the heavy snowfall at this time and also to talk about something else, it's called the Polar Nights, in which anywhere from the end of November up to January 15th, the sun never really rises up here in northern Norway and Tromso. It's, there's more of a twilight than anything else. After this, we're going to actually take a Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights tour later this evening. It starts at 5.30 and they go all the way up to 2 a.m. sometimes because they could take us all the way to Finland because really in those Northern Lights tours, they're actually chasing an opening in the sky, not really chasing the lights necessarily. We just need like a clear sky to be able to see the Northern Lights at nighttime. If you look outside, it's a pretty low chance we're gonna see them tonight, but we came all this way to Northern Norway to see the lights, so we're gonna at least give it a shot. Since the weather conditions weren't ideal for seeing the Northern Lights in Norway, we drove two and a half hours all the way to Finland and we're actually currently at the borderline of Sweden as well too, so pretty cool location. No luck yet, weather conditions are a little bit better out here, we can actually see the skies, there's a few pictures right here what we're currently seeing, but no luck just yet, so we're going to go ahead and start heading to a different location. So it is like right behind us, so we did not see, look, look at this guys, look right behind us. You can, it's harder to see with the video camera, but look at that, it just dances all across the sky. This is probably the most amazing, I, I honestly, I think I have a tear in my eye right now, I'm not even lying. Here's some photos right here next, let's see what else we can get. Oh wow. Wow, what an epic experience. My one goal this whole entire trip was to see the Aurora's Borealis. 
otherwise known as the Northern Lights, and we did it. I, we, we thought we had 0% chance of seeing it. We booked a tour with the Greenlanders, which I highly recommend you guys do, or at any other Northern Lights tour, but Greenlanders, I would definitely recommend going with them if they have an opening. But they took us all the way, two and a half hours out of Norway into Finland. There was some white knuckle driving on the way out here too, so we might have risked our lives to get out here, but we made it and we saw the Northern Lights night. It's an amazing experience that you have to see at least once in your life. So, mission accomplished. Cheers. Mm. All right. Well, and it is 2.30 in the morning. In less than three hours, we have to get up to go to our flight to Oslo in southern Norway. And we're going to send off the northern Norway part of this trip. Cassini and I only slept about two and a half hours last night. We need to do something to get our blood pumping because coffee is really not cutting it at this point. Oh, oh shit. It is cold. Okay. Just walk in. W walk in nicely. <laughs> I don't just do things nicely. <laughs> what ice? Yeah. Really better than like this view though. This is an awesome experience. The opera house right here, we can see it from the sauna. It's literally been like five minutes since I've last jumped in, but it is so cold. I'm taking you guys with me this time. <gasps> from the KOK saunas right off the coast. It was a super refreshing experience. It was a lot of fun. I jumped in five times and I actually cut myself on the eyes, but it's so cold you don't realize that. Cold? You should be yeah. used to this by now. The rest of the evening, we're gonna hang out here in the Samaro is, is the hotel that we're staying in tonight. Super nice. There's actually three different restaurants, a few different cocktail bars, so we'll have enough to explore in this hotel tonight before we rest up and do Norway in a nutshell tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, where are you going? Bergen. Norway in a nutshell, from Oslo to Bergen, allows you to experience the scenic Bergen Railway, the breathtaking Flam Railway, and a cruise through Norway's most beautiful fjords in one easy booking. Norway in a nutshell isn't a guided tour, it just provides you with a set of tickets and a prearranged itinerary for your self guided tour. <laughs> and this is how you stay warm while getting pee out here in the fjords. Drinking. Neil Blind or Punch. My favorite. After our Norway in a nutshell tour we did yesterday, we stopped off in Voss and spent the night here because it is the adrenaline capital of Norway. Surprisingly enough, it's also the home of Voss water. So we figured there's no better way than to spend our day snowboarding.
Nothing better than having a good, strong beer after a full day of snowboarding. in picturesque Bergen, Norway, a harbor city surrounded by mountains. It was a nice change of pace from Oslo. We took a 30 minute trip out of Bergen to go see the majestic Stave Church that dates back to the Middle Ages. When we walked into the forest that surrounds the Stave Church, it felt like we were walking back in time to Nordic Viking times. I thought I was gonna walk in the church and pray to Odin. It was very mystic the day we were there because the whole forest was surrounded in fog. I highly recommend you making the day trip out there. You can hop on the train and it doesn't take much time at all. Now, after our day of exploring, we stopped at Apollon, which is a vinyl record shop, which also doubles as a brewery. Cool place to stop at after exploring Bergen. It has over 50 beers on tap, good choices to choose from, good record selection if you're into that, and yeah, it's a good place to end your day. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the majestic wonders of Norway. This was not my first time to come to Norway, but last time I came was more of a speed date experience where this was a proper first date. After this journey, I would like to return for date number two, especially in the summertime to experience some of the epic hikes that Norway has to offer. From our experience, I can say that if you're looking for a relaxing vacation spot, I would recommend looking somewhere else. Now, if you're looking for an adrenaline-filled adventure and want to experience unworldly and unfriendly nature, Norway is for you. Everything was a challenge this trip. Nothing came easy, which made the experiences much more rewarding. For example, we had to travel three hours into Finland to have the opportunity to witness the once-in-a-lifetime experience of the Northern Lights, which was not a guarantee. The ice domes in Tromso was a bone-chilling experience that I will remember for the rest of my life. I will also be posting a full walkthrough video of the hotel in a separate video. If it's already up, the link will be right here. Norway, I can say hands down, it was one of my favorite countries to travel to and I highly recommend you do the same. We hope this video has inspired you to embark on your own journey and explore everything that this beautiful country has to offer. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video, comment below, subscribe for more, and we will see you guys in the next one.